Welcome to the Bushido Gang. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Attack on Samurai, bringing you all uh, my or bring, bringing you all another Pokemon Showdown uh, team building guide for y'all today. So as I'm recording, it is a Thursday night. You guys should probably be seeing this video tomorrow, being Friday. So uh, happy Friday to y'all, to you guys and whatnot. So uh, so yeah, um, doing my daily, doing my weekly team building guide. I also want to say thank you guys for uh, for you know checking out the last one I did with Reiku and GSCOU. I really do appreciate that. If you guys haven't checked that out, uh, it'll be at the top of the it'll be at the top of the video um, for you guys to look at the previous one. But um, but yeah, I really had a lot of fun doing that video, and I'm definitely excited for this one because the one the Pokemon we'll be focusing on for this team building guide is going to be on Scizor and BDSP OU. So uh, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of BDSP since the meta started. And again, I'd have to say that this has been some. This has been some of the most fun I've had in Gen Eight in a, in a while. <laughs> probably still, probably still since you know Crown Tundra dropped. Um, but yeah, definitely has been the most fun for me at the moment. So uh, so yeah, may end up going back into Gen Eight OU or may end, up, may end up going back to Sword and Shield OU at some point in the near future. But um, but right now BDSP OU has been the most fun for me. So uh. So yeah, um, before we get started though with this team building guide about Scizor and BDSP OU, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord, the Bushido Gang, and subscribe for some more content on the channel. And uh, and yeah, um, so here we go. Scizor, what does Scizor do in BDSP OU? Well, Scizor does a lot of things in BDSP OU. For one, it's very different from its counterpart in B in DPP OU, which in DPP OU. Uh, Scizor, well, for one, it doesn't have as much usage. At, it doesn't have a lot of usage here. It doesn't have a lot. Of, it doesn't have a lot of usage in DPP compared to BDSP. Um, the reason for that is because Scizor in DPP function more as a sweeper um, in that meta game, and also it didn't have a ton of defensive utility um, in that meta either. Um, because, well, for one, there, there's a lot of things that Scizor has in D, that, this, that Scizor has in has in dpp ou that is different from what it has or what it can do in bdsp for one again defensive utility is not really the greatest for deep for dpp scissor um dpp scissor like i said is only functioning or mainly functions as a sweeper so you could do a lot with that thing you can run like choice band stuff you could run scarf stuff you could run like like in the light the life orb sd set or even like a bulky sd set um with lefties so so yeah, it kind of does the same thing here in BD in BDSP, except that Scissor has way more defensive utility because of two of two moves. Or really one, it's defog. Um with with Scissor actually using defog, um, it's able to remove hazards for its teammates, which is very, very nice. Especially for some bulky teams, like again, bulky offense or even just balanced teams. Scissor really can fit well on teams like that. Um now there's a th now there's different sets you can do with this set. This is like the set that everyone and their mother uses when they see a scissor or when they use scissor. Um, again, this is more effective on balanced teams. This is called the do nothing set. I call it the do nothing set because really all you do is you just U-turn or defog. That's it. You never click B. You barely you rarely click BP. You only click U-turn, roost, and defog. So like, so yeah, it's really it's really only there for for getting momentum. Um. So basically, when you get momentum, you can get like slow U-turns off, which is why its speed is very is very weird. Like um, like a lot of players uh, would speed creep with Scissor to make it, or I guess like lower speed uh, for Scissor to get a slower U-turn off against opposing Scissors, or really just like in general. Um, but yeah, really, it's really just to get the to get the upper hand on opposing Scissors. So uh, so yeah, they would make theirs like fairly slow, like around 159, like around 159 speed, so you don't get outspit by Clef. So uh, or by Tar, which Tar can go 158. Um, or I mean, it's neutrally neutrally is at is at uh, one fifty eight. Um, but yeah, you can hey, you have one point to outspeed that, and uh, and again one and again two points to outspeed, um, or three points to outspeed uh, Clef uh, naturally. So uh, so yeah, um, yeah, BP to hit Clef, get hitting fairies is nice, which is one of the which is actually one of the pluses for Scissor in this meta game too, because again, DPP doesn't doesn't I mean in DPP fairy type fairy types don't exist. Um, also, another thing to note is that in DPP OU, uh, Clefable is a normal type in that metagame. So you actually hit that thing with superpower um, and whatnot. So, so yeah, um, defensive utility is great for Scissor in this meta because, again, you can take on fairy types or at least be able to chunk a hit to take like at least a couple hits from them. Um, be able to apply pressure with BP or even just U-turn for, for, for a momentum. Sorry, I keep twisting my words. Um, 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, Spadef Scissor is pretty much the main check to uh, to Latios right now. Which I, I have to say that throughout the course of this metagame, from the time of its inception, or I guess actually is inception the right word? I think I think inception is the right word. Yeah, the time from its uh, conception, which was you know back in November and up till now, which is now March. So this metagame has been going on for five months. No, four months. Right? I can count. I'm pretty sure it's four months. <laughs> this metagame's been going on for four months now. Um, which is crazy to me. It's definitely been five months. It's March now, and it's about to be. It's, it's going to be April like next week. <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad. But um, but yeah. Um, for five months, we've we've Scissor has been ran the same way. Um, bulky, bulky, like do nothing, do nothing, do nothing sets. But yeah, it takes on Latios fairly well. Um, one of the best Latios checks in the game. So uh, see, you just get moment, you just get momentum on that. You turn on their steel type, and then you bring in your fire type, or bring in like your offensive water or something to apply pressure to that. So uh. So yeah, um, it's good at that. It's good at what it does. It's good at it's good at getting momentum with U-turn and whatnot. I just think it's I just call it a do nothing set because you literally you don't really lose momentum, but you're kind of just sitting there at the same time. You know, like it's it's only here just for getting momentum, and like yeah, it works, but you don't do much back, which is why I think this set's very passive. Um. But yeah, in some end game scenarios, you can use this to BP stuff, but you're not going to be doing too much since this is since this is a lot weaker than offensive sets. So really, you're going to be clicking a lot of U turn and just de and just defogging a lot uh, with this thing. So again, it's effective at walling stuff, but that's all it really does. So again, good Latios check, and um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Like Latios is the is the main mod you check. I guess like you also check Shaman too now. And then also like other grasses as well, since other grasses can't do much to you, you just walled them. Um, and also you technically take on Starmie too. You could take a, you could take pump and whatnot from Starmie. I don't know if you take it on a switch in though, but you can definitely, but Starmie can definitely, uh, I mean, but Scissor could definitely take, could take like, a hit from Starmie at least. So, uh, so yeah. Um, now you can make it to you can make it defensive too. Defensively, you could take EQ from stuff. For, like, for example, you could take an EQ from, uh, from Glass a little bit better if it's defensively oriented. You could take an EQ from Mammal Swine too, and actually take on like, not, and yeah, take EQ from it too. Um, and whatnot. Um, also take on Weavile a little bit better too, which Weavile is also really good in this metagame as well. And um, that thing can apply a lot of pressure, so having like a physical check to it is nice. So Scissor can work, can work as that too. Um, but yeah, it kind of depends on your team and the preference for it. Um, but yeah, Spadef Scissor is probably the better one right now, since again, taking on Latios is one of the big things that this mod is, that this mod is used for. And defogging too. Don't forget about defogging. In fact, this is pretty much like the most popular defogger next to next to Glasgow, which I think is way better as a defogger than Scissor is. Better defensive utility, better speed, um, better offensive presence. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. Definitely not better offensive presence, but um, not better offensively, but definitely is a better defogger in my opinion. Way better defensive defogger. But uh, but yeah, um, at least in defogging on multiple things is what I mean to say. But uh. But yeah, this is the do nothing set. Uh, then we have the bulky SD set. Now this is my favorite. Compare, um, this is my favorite. Actually, no, it's like my third favorite. <laughs> it's, my, it's my third favorite um, of these scissor variants. So uh, this one right here is the bulky SD set. Now bulky SD means that you can actually apply pressure with this thing against special attackers. So you can set up on whatever you want, or you can just get momentum with U-turn. Um. Now this is more effective when steel types are gone. So if you remove a steel, then you pretty much just kind of win with this thing, <laughs> which is uh, which is actually insane. Um, but yeah, you set up on most special attackers fairly easily. So for example, um, again, you set up on Latios very well. Um, in fact, um, well yeah, you set up on Latios fairly well. You can also get momentum with it too. Um, so yeah, you can uh, say let's say you're in on Latios. Latios goes for Draco on you, and Draco does like thirty percent. Um, it does like 30% to you can roost up to get, to get your recovery back. Um, or you could get, or you could U-turn for momentum to get some, uh, to get something on their switch in, which a lot of switch ins into the scissor are going to be waters, um, or, or going to steal. So again, like Magnezone, for example, Skarmory, Glasgore even, um, even though Glasgore isn't really that safe against a set like this, because a set like this can actually apply pressure to it. Um, this set cannot do anything to, to, to a glass score. It just sits on it. So all you can really do with this set is just U-turn. Um, but this one can actually apply pressure. Can actually apply pressure just to uh, to some glass variants. So uh, 
So yeah, that's one thing to note about this set. It's a lot better at pressuring stuff that it should and pressuring stuff and actually end gaming too in some situations. So uh, so yeah. Um, again, you can use this for momentum or you can use it for sweeping. Um, if you if you use it for sweeping, then again, you want to make sure you get rid of its. You want to make sure you can at least ship the resist as much as possible. Um, and then you can kind of clean up with this thing too. And also, you, again, you set up on special attackers very nicely. So again, Lattice is free bait or is free setup bait for you. Um, and uh, and yeah, you can also make this physically defensive too if you want. Pretty much acting the same way as again making a physical defensive set of this, but you can do the same thing with this, make it like physically defensive SD. So you can still apply pressure to the physical attackers too, and also take hits from them as well and set up on them too. Which I'd probably say with the way the meta is going right now, because the meta's changed a lot from what it was like a month or two ago, where Gengar was like the main, or was when Gengar was like everywhere. Now the Gengar has been banned. Um, a lot of players are starting to become, are starting to like make their teams more physically oriented. Um, so if you want to, you could make this physically defensive to still take on those physical attackers. But again, it's up to you. It's all preference. I think Spadef is way better for handling Latios right now because physically defensive Latios or physically defensive uh, Scissor will not take hits that well from Latios. It'll still take it. It'll still take it like fairly well, but. Still, you're not gonna take you're, you're not gonna take it like that well, especially with hazards down too. So you're gonna be very careful with this thing. Um, if you're running it defensively, if you're running if you're running it physically defensively, um, which which if you're running it physically defensively, then you're gonna then you're pretty much forced to run it with the uh, with the special defensive ball. So uh, so yeah, um, but yeah, you set up on the physical, you set up on the special attackers and you just get momentum with it. So uh, it's pretty much how scissor works. Um, now we have the now we have the iron plate set. Now this set I like a lot. Um, I like this set a lot because, uh, basically, this thing, um, this thing effect kind of gets a life orb boost without actually taking recoil damage. Now, it's not like, it's not like the same percentage as life orb, because life orb, you know, like, is like, you know, that percentage is like by 1.5, um, and I'll show you the calcing of it, like, show you like how much percentage, uh, how much of a difference it is, um, with this thing, but basically this mon can be very deadly with the with the uh, with the iron plate um you pretty much boost its stab and allow it to effectively just clean up things a lot a lot harder or a lot faster so uh so yeah you do a lot more damage to uh you do a lot more damage to stuff that you normally would do or um that you weren't that you normally wouldn't do um if you're running like lefties they if you're running lefties so yeah with iron plate you effectively can beat down glass and beat down chomp fairly nicely or fairly well um, again, doing a lot more damage to them. You also have better odds in killing off Clef. If you're running lefties, you can't really kill that off that well. But with uh, with Iron Plate, you have better odds in doing it. But yeah, basically with Iron Plate, you kind of just clean up things a lot faster. Um, you still have to take care of the Steel type anyway. But once you take care of the Steel type, then you kind of just uh, kind of win with this thing. That's kind of how this one goes. Once you take care of the Steel, you win. <laughs> so so yeah, there's there's a lot of partners you can pair with Scissor to actually get that to actually make that goal happen. Like you can pair with uh, Infernape, which is one of my favorite pairs with this thing. Um, you could do stuff like, uh, heat train, of course, on defensive teams and whatnot. Um, you could do, uh, there's a lot of options you have, honestly. Again, just getting rid of the steel is one of the big things that this mod needs to get it, to really get it going. Um, but yeah, let me show you some funny stuff. So, if you, so, um, let's just go to sun, let's just go to the certain shield. Uh, so, let me show you the calc I get with scissor real quick. So, scissor... Um, I really wish they put the BDSP sets up here too, but I guess they're not gonna, they're not gonna do that until like maybe when the, I don't know when they're gonna do it, but they're not doing it right now. Um, okay, so we have Life Orb, Scissor versus Infernape. Now, I want to show you the damage with BP. So BP from the Life Orb set, well actually I should show you like how much it does with Iron Plate. Oh yeah, by the way, um, Iron Plate, Scissor. Uh, this can be ran with lefties with the life orb two or even lefty. So you can you can choose between either or. Personally, I like iron plate a little bit more just offensively. Um, but again, if you want to go lefties, you can for the recovery. You can go life orb two if you want. So it's kind of it's kind of a toss up really. So life so iron plate life orb, um, yeah, iron plate life orb, uh, lefties are all the same thing that can work on this kind of set. So if you want to do either or, it's up to you up to your preference. But uh. I just like Iron Plate really because I don't have to, I don't have to worry about taking recoil damage from uh, from Life Orb. That's really all that that's really all the benefit it has. Um, but yeah, uh, let me show you how much it does uh, real quick. So with an Iron Plate, you are doing to that's that's Infernape. But no, this no, I'm right. Yeah, I'm right. My bad. Uh, 
So with a iron plate, you are doing 29 to 34%. So it is a little bit, it's a little bit weaker than life orb, um, definitely. But again, you don't have to worry about taking recoil damage. Now, if you put this thing at plus two, you will do a KO um, Infernape very, very well. You will definitely do it. If it comes in on a if it comes in on a switching, it's dying in two. So, so yeah. Um, granted, you never want to switch in Infernape on on Scissor anyway in general, because you mean because I mean this one is very frail. Like its defenses are not great at all. So the same will get worn down very fast and very quickly. So, so yeah, that's what I'm, so yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, if you set up if you set up with this thing, then you pretty much can uh two a KO it in one go. And if you go plus four. Plus four with an iron plate boost, then you basically kill this thing. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, if you get rocks down, then it's guaranteed dead. So that's one thing to know. So again, just two, not two, just four uh, SDs in your set to go. Even plus three will do enough too, um, to the point where you still kill it anyway. But yeah, plus four, you basically just kill it in one shot. And you have multiple set you have multiple setup opportunities with that too. So, uh, so yeah. Um, now you could also go quick attack too. Uh, quick attack was um. But really, in general, uh, Scizor, or uh, like really in general, when it comes to Scizor, especially from from what from not from when I was um from when I was playing Gen Seven Yu Yu, because in Gen Seven Yu Yu, Scizor was pretty much like top tier. That mon was amazing in that meta game. That that mon pretty much was like one of the one of the best mons in that meta game since you basically killed everything in that meta with it because like bp from that thing especially because you could do like life orb variants you could do the z you could do the uh, z move variant um there were a lot of things you could do with scissor um back in back in the sun and moon um yu yu but yeah in that meta game you could run iron plate and iron plate was very good in that was very good with that too because from what if i remember if i remember correctly there weren't too many steel types in that meta um so Really besides com really besides Cobalion, Magneton. I think Magneton had some usage there. I don't remember too well. I'm pretty sure it did. Because it needed to take on Scizor. So I think that but yeah, basically basically this thing was a killing machine. <laughs> so with Iron Plate, you basically just killed off everything. You even killed off like weakened stuff like Sharpedo and whatnot and, and all that. So it was it was very solid. It was very solid in cleaning. And I could do the same thing here in DPP or in uh, in BDSP. Um where you could run like, you know, Something similar to this with like quick attack or whatnot. Actually, you don't really need quick attack. That's this is better than like a life orb set. If you're running life orb, then you could then you could do that. Then you could pretty much do that and pretty much doing about the same anyway. Um, yeah, with life orb, with life orb variant, you can do that and pretty much kill off Infernape, which is uh, one of the reasons why you want quick attack. You want that for the uh, you want that for the bullet punch uh, resist. So again, Infernape, you can beat that down with life orb at plus four or even plus three. Um, yeah, two SDs and you pretty much can kill that in one go. Uh, and do the same thing with BP as well. Now, against something like Rotom, for example, Rotom is something you uh, you also can hit as well. So let's say like you, you pivot, like something like this. Uh, Quick Attack will definitely two shot that with Rocks down. So you have that. Um, yeah, with BP though, with Life Orb, you're not doing that much. But with Quick Attack, you do a lot more. And this is a bulky set too. So bulky sets get messed up by this, which can be applied to to BDSP as well. Which in BDSP they kind of run the same stuff too. But you can, but some of them are also, well, a lot of them are mostly like offensive too, offensive scarf, which is like the more popular Rotom set. So with the, with no investment, uh, this thing will die. So just gonna let you know that with no investment, uh, this bomb will die to plus to a plus three quick attack or even plus two quick attack with rocks down. So um, so yeah, guaranteed to guaranteed to drop on that switching. So yeah, and another thing to note about quick attack right now is that because there's no because there's no ghosts. Uh, that's very free actually. That's that's super free. So you pretty much just kind of clap everything with this thing. So yeah, it's it's, it's very strong like that. Um, so again, going back to the U-turn to the Iron Plate set. Um, pretty much you set up with this thing and then you turn for momentum if you want, or again use it for an end game scenario and use it for an end game scenario. I'm gonna show some replays with this team or with this uh, with this set actually, and I'll probably try and see if I can show some other replays too. Um, of me uh, showing off of showing off Scissor um, in action. But yeah, Iron Plate Scissor is probably my favorite one. I just really like not having to take recoil damage. Um, but yeah, you basically kill off everything with the steel when the steel's gone. So that's one thing to really note. Uh, now with offensive life orb, with offensive like yeah, with offensive life orb, you can do this set BP break and quick attack. I already mentioned quick attack already, but yeah, like I said, that that thing um 
That thing is effective in cleaning up, again, like, stuff, like, again, Lottie, not Lottie, um, of course, Lottie, you kill that with BP, but, um, but it, it effectively handles stuff like Infernape and also handles, um, Rotom as well, so bulky Rotoms get worn down very fast, uh, if you can set up on it, which, I mean, like I said, you have multiple setup opportunities with this thing, like, this mod is very free to set up on, or it's very free to set up with, um, it's very, very free to set up with, so once you get that going, you're pretty much set to go, um, there's a lot of setup, there's a lot of setup opportunities with this thing very like you can set up on shaman you can set up on like you set up on the grasses very easily um technically you can set up on starmie technically um lottie's very free <laughs> lottie is super free to set up on um hell you can even catch a lottie switching or catch a switch in for, to their steel and try and brick break them like for example if you can hit heatran that's very nice now of course you got to be very aware of heatran because heatran these days are running flame body so uh so yeah, they can come in on your brick break and you can potentially get burned. But still, the damage is definitely worth it if you can get it off. And if you have a sweeper, and if you have another sweeper in the back, uh, that wants heat turn gone as well. But but yeah, usually you'd want something heat. You want to remove heat turn if you can. But if you can hit it, um, in a situation where you know that you're not going to be able to set up again, you may as well just hit it anyway. Yeah, brick break is pretty much there for heat turn. That's pretty much all it's there for heat turn and like other steals. But mainly, mainly heat turn. Uh, cause you need to hit that thing with brick break. You can hit zone too. Zone isn't really like that fast. You, actually, no, that's, that's a lie. That's, that's definitely a lie. Um, <laughs> zone is like, zone goes like 240 sometimes. It can go timid or modest. Depends on, depends really on the team. If you want, you could make it jolly too, but I really, I don't know how I feel about jolly band or jolly life orb, uh, scissor. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that's not as strong. You probably could get away with it, but I personally think that I'd rather make this adamant and hit it, and hit as hard as I can on switch-ins. So, uh, so yeah, again, Brick Brick is good for hitting steel types. That's pretty much all it's there for. And, uh, and yeah. And then the last one we have is, uh, is BP. Or is it not BP? <laughs> BP. I'm thinking, like, ADV now. <laughs> ADV and, like, and below. <laughs> um, nah, not, 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 not a baton pass. Um, I'm saying choice bands. So choice bands is or um i actually haven't seen it i actually have not seen this set but apparently it's getting usage so again i have not seen it so i can't really give you too much of a explanation on it but i'm assuming that it's just there for pivoting um just to get pivots off and then clean up with bp and end games so you want to get momentum with u-turn and then also like hit heat turn on switching so if you're in so let's say you're in a situation where you're with where latios is fighting you or you have latios in on you um like you have scissor in and then they double no ladios or something um then they double back and go into their steel type you could just u-turn on their switching so or even brick break their switching too so again like i already mentioned before a lot of switchings for ladios are going to be steel types on scissor um or again a resist like like a glide score so you either u-turn or brick break depending on their team now if you hit the steel then you pretty much win with scissor <laughs> pretty much like i mentioned several times if you hit the steel type you win with this mod simple as that um very very easy <laughs> very very easy um but yeah bp i don't think you kill clef these days i don't think you kill clef with bp or a choice band bp i think you do too little especially with it being jolly too which i don't know why it's jolly but apparently jolly was uh one of the things or what was on the uh was on the uh anal was on the analysis so for uh for current gen yeah for bdsp it says it right here that this thing that they run jolly out of it which i or jolly band which i don't know why why would you run jolly band but it's a, it's a preference thing i guess i guess it's good for speed um 251 speed you outspeed i guess you outspeed like you outspeed heatron i guess uh you outspeed zone definitely so i guess it's there for that reason that you outspeed zone um so I mean I, I see the I see the benefits of it. Um but yeah, I don't know. I, I kinda like adamant. I like adamant way better here. <laughs> or I would like adamant way better here. But again, that's all preference. Roost is there for I mean Roost I think Roost would probably you could probably drop that for quick attack, honestly, if you want if you want to do that. Again, that's all preference though. Um but yeah, I want to see the damage on Scissor versus or with Choice Band Scissor versus Clef. I know it's not gonna do very much damage because cause uh Clef these days, um well, when the meta was starting off, Clef was ran Spadef, like fully Spadef to take on, uh, to take on, what's it called? I forgot what that mon's called. Um, I can't think of the mon. Oh yeah, take on, uh, take on Latios. Um, now, nowadays they're mainly physically, they're mainly physically defensive. So Clef will be taking nothing from BP. 
like okay actually that's hold on <laughs> hold on wait a minute okay so adam and bp yeah it, it lives it lives but but it's a big but clef runs unaware these days because unaware is good for handling call mine latios and call mine latius um so yeah basically allows you to beat that um are really really not just like not really like call mine sweepers really just sweepers in general you are able to uh with rocks you're able to beat it um and bp that thing but yeah again um Underwear Clef is pretty much like the main Clef these days in BDSP OU. Um, and Sword and Shield, I don't know. I don't know what Clef is running. Um, probably just, probably still Magic Guard. It's not like it really needs it though, because like everything is running boots and, and whatnot. But I don't know. I don't know. That's just all. That's just, that's just me talking and hating at the same time. <laughs> I don't hate Sword and Shield. I'm telling you, I don't. I promise you, I don't hate it. I just dislike it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, Adamant, uh, Adamant or Jolly could work, but again, I like Adamant way better here for the damage output. Um, yeah, this could be effective in late game scenarios. So Clef doesn't die, but with Rocks down, it will. So there's that. It has pretty good odds anyway. Um, you can U-turn for momentum, so you're able to like U-turn around, get momentum on stuff. So um, getting momentum on. Uh, oh yeah, too bad you can't run knockoff. These you can't run knockoff on this. This knockoff isn't in the game for it. So yeah, no knockoff for. Um, for choice ban a uh, scissor but choice ban scissor would have loved that um would have loved knockoff from for, for uh, clip for clipping things but uh but yeah um you have user for, for the momentum and again brick break for hitting steals um so yeah pretty much brick break is the is the equivalent of, of knockoff uh, right now since you want to be able to hit the steals and pretty much hit anything but mainly the steel types um pretty much is that for scissor i do have a couple scissor teams but i also want to show some replays first so i'm gonna show some replays first if you guys saw the Swamper video I did for black and white, well, here's the whole thing. You ready? This is this is it without without the without the cut up. Boom. All right, game over. <laughs> this was so funny to me. Like I'm telling you, when when I saw this shit for the when I saw this shit, I was I almost fell out my chair. <laughs> oh, Swamper, you beast. Anyways, um, enough of that. Let's go to let's go to BDSP. So let me see if I can find that team um nope that is not it this is it okay so this is a team i built i built a while back where i was using uh where i was using iron plate uh scissor so i was testing this on ladder um like i usually do i, I always test on alts i don't usually test on my main because like why would i test on my main <laughs> i'm trying to get my main up <laughs> so um i test on alts a lot just so you know see what i can do and see what could work out um but yeah i have this one uh, where it's the iron plate, where it's iron plate scissor plus uh, sash ape. Actually, no, it's not sash ape. It's a uh, mixed ape, mixed ape with a uh, scarf roserade. Now this was before Gengar got banned, so this is like you know I think it was in January, so it was like and it got banned like early February, so it was like a week or two before it got banned. Um, I think a little bit longer than a week or two actually. But yeah, this thing pretty much cleans up. There's no steel type here, so once rocks are down. This mon goes stupid, <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm gonna lead ape as they lead smear which is obvious. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for the taunt so they can't go for hazards, and I can pretty much you know hit whatever I want on their switching. Go for rockster to break the stash on smear and whatnot, and then overheat this thing, and we kill it. So Nido King died, which is perfect. So Nido King dying is great for my team. Ladius is gonna come in here, and I can pretty much sack this thing or switch out. I go scissor here, and scissor is ready to go because look at that shit. This is the spadef scissor, but or this is the bulky iron plate scissor, by the way. So bulky the iron plate scissor like i said can take hits it can as you saw it took that psyche really well from ladios and judging by that damage that might have been specs maybe maybe specs actually i think that that definitely was specs actually if that was specs i would have done a little bit more i might be wrong let me check real quick um let me check ladios ladios choice specs psychic does 46 to 55 percent so that's with no bulk on, on scissor yeah, this is why this is this is why offensive scissor isn't really a good check to it. You want to be you want to be you want to be able to actually like hit this thing. Also, with choice band, I guess with Roxton, you actually have pretty good odds in handling it still. Um, so there, so there's that too. Uh, again, going back to the choice band set, but yeah, going back to the uh, to the one I was using or the one I'm using in this uh, in this game. That is not what I want. I don't need you having three IVs in attack. <laughs> so let me put like 56, 56, and like two was it 204. It was 200, 200, and then like 240 in spadef or an HP. So psychic does 30 to 36 percent. So, hmm. Okay, so that wasn't that. Probably might have been scarf then. 
Yeah, that might have been Scarf then. Judge by how much that did. But yeah, Lottie used to be hidden hard. Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. Probably am wrong. It wasn't Life Orb though. Judge by that damage though. Um, yeah, let me see. It did 27%. Um, no, it was Life Orb. Okay, never mind. So yeah, if that was Specs, then that would have done a lot more damage to me. But him being Life Orb just showed that uh he probably has Surf, so that's why I went Rose here. But, you know, he just stayed in the Psychic again, which I didn't really get, but okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know why he stayed in like that. But, again, for one, this is kind of a low ladder game. So, I mean, like, it, it doesn't matter too much. But, I'm just, again, I'm just showing you what this does. So, Gengar's in here. I go for Roost here to get my recovery back to keep this thing healthy. And he goes for Shadow Ball. It does, like, 57% to me. I SD, and now this thing is threatening as hell because he has no switching for it. This dies. He's trying to go for Curse Body and gets it, obviously. Because who wouldn't get Curse Body in this situation? So... Pretty much, I have to go Glass Grey here and let this die. This goes for EQ there. This Glass Grey is pretty, like, like it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of dies, um, pretty much. So, he crashes there. I die. And then I get to bring uh, Scissor back in and then Roost up here. Um, so, yeah. Or even just hit this thing. But, yeah, I just hit it. It dies. And uh, all he has left is, is uh, Gator and whatnot in this thing, too. Which, uh, this thing is definitely threatening, too. But, with the Iron Plate, it just barely kills. <laughs> just barely killed it. Um, but, yeah, that dies. Gator's in here. Gator wants to set up and do stuff. Uh, it goes for DD, and I go for U-turn to get momentum. And U-turn does a lot to him. I go Suicune here. Suicune just uh, you know forcing him out, forcing him out. Latios is in here. I go for Scald. Uh, by the way, Suicune, Suicune is not really that good right now because it has it has inner focus. You want to have pressure with this thing, but in BSP, this Mon does not have pressure right now. So uh, so yeah, it has its hidden ability, which is kind of which kind of some trash, but it's it's fine. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, Latios just kind of stays in here. Thunderbolts me. I go for Calm Mind again, just let it die. Gator tries to set up, and then I just circle punch him, and you know, or I Brave Bird, and then I just hit him right there. But yeah, um, I only Brave Bird him because he was trying to play some circle punch games, and I didn't really feel like playing that, so I just hit him instead. Uh, but yeah, um, we won that game right there. Again, showing the power of what Scissor does. Um, but yeah, let me show you another game actually with Scissor actually doing stuff. So this one, um, this one's a little bit better because you actually get to see Scissor, Scissor actually clean up. Um, actually, no, I don't think I actually cleaned up here. I think it might have been a different game, but um, again, just showing what this mod does. So, Salamence lead, Rose lead. This is Scarf Rose, by the way, so I cannot speed it and sleep it, but I'm not going to because I don't know what this is. He goes for Draco. Draco does a lot to me, so that told me that he was a uh, mixed variant. So, he switches out, goes Scissor there as I go for a Scald on the Scissor switch, and Scissor is not taking that Scald very well. Um, I'm taking it super well. Go for another skull, doing 31, burns it, and uh, he goes for the U-turn to get momentum. Azu in, Rose in, uh, burn on that, Glasgow in, switch back into Glasgow on the uh, on Scissor to get rocks down, and I can just EQ this for damage. Now, look, it will do a lot because we'll be able to roost up anyway, but um, I go AP here as soon as he's going to roost here, or default, either one. Um, this is double rocks, so I can get both, I can get rocks here on AP, or I can get rocks here on the. Uh, on the scissor switch so yeah i get my rocks down menson's in here switch back into scissor on whatever this does goes for draco again and i can u-turn here for momentum to catch zone so i think i u-turned here right here uh yep u-turn there get momentum on that do a decent jump to it ape is back in and ape can just overheat here as glasser comes in here or i could cc because uh i cc here because i want to make sure that yeah that that dies next turn <laughs> so so glasker died there um he gets to go into uh mens there and try and hit me back but I still have my scissor here, which can take a hit. Um, but I go sweeping here to just sack because I don't need it anymore. And he goes for flamethrower in case I win the scissor there. Which he he made a good play predicting that, but it did not work out for him. So now I can just scald here for free and he just forfeits. So uh so yeah. Um so scissor really in this game, it just applied pressure with U-turn. Didn't really do too much. Just give me just give me momentum to uh to apply pressure back on him. But uh but yeah, I know I have some other games though. Uh, Cause I've been testing a lot. Again, I've been testing a lot with these mods or with these uh, with the teams. This is a better example of Scissor actually cleaning up. So let me show you real quick. So Rose Raid versus Loom versus Loom. Uh, you train Loom, go for Sledge Bomb there. So he's trying to scout for sleep. Or I mean, I I only did that because I didn't know what. Because I mean, again, it's a little ladder. Like I'm gonna hit what's in front of me. I'm not gonna predict if I like if I can avoid predicting. Um, or I mean, if um. If I could avoid predicting, I would. <laughs> it, especially on low ladder. Like, I don't want to predict on low ladder. Because I'm just going to hit what's in front of me at, at like 100% of the time. Or like, I'll say 80% of the time. I'm going to hit what's in front of me on low ladder. I'm not going to predict. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, Rose is in here. Or I mean, Glasgow is in here on the Rotom. 
I get my rocks down. He switches. I switch out Gold Rose here as he goes for Volt Switch. So I get moment. I get momentum here. He gets to bring in bring in Heatran. I go for Sleep Powder to put this thing to sleep. Um, this going to sleep is good for me because I get the momentum right now with Ape or even with Suicune. So uh, so yeah, I can go into either or. I go I go Glasgow here. He goes into Glasgow of his own. It gets his uh, orb up and everything, so his orb is activated now, and he could go for defog. I go for rocks here, as he's gonna go for knockoff instead. So he reveals the knockoff there, pretty much in case I wanted to switch out, which I mean I wasn't gonna switch on this situation because I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he's a defogger or not, but judging by the but but judging by his team structure, I'm pretty sure it's not defog because he's got kiss there too, which kiss could probably be scarf or whatnot. But yeah, he revealed knockoff EQ. I go for rocks again. Not showing defog, so pretty much I'm deducing that this Glasgow can't do shit to me, so I can go into speak in here since he could EQ or go for whatever. And I'm okay with this getting knocked though, because it didn't really matter that much. Because this will still apply this will still apply a lot of pressure, especially with the call mine down. I go for Skull out here, catch Latios, get a get some chip on it. Goes for psychic, that's revealed to be specs. I just scarf. Scarf, I think. But we freeze it. Um freeze the uh, Latios. I bring in scissor now, and scissor can just U-turn here. So um goes into rotom there i go for u-turn and u-turn does a fuck ton to that rotom i go rose here and i can just go for leaf storm here since you think i'm not scarf and we just kill that off so he throws out his rotom for no reason and now he turns in here now what i can do is apply pressure with, with glasgow again or ape so i bring an ape now if this is still asleep i can go for cc and y'all know what happened last game right actually i thought <laughs> okay my bad i was thinking i was thinking like way ahead i was thinking i thought i was thinking that he'd go into glasgow here <laughs> like I mean, looking at this post post game, like post post right here, I don't know why I was thinking he'd, he'd go Glasgow for some reason, but but yeah, um, even if he did, like Glasgow Glasgow CC and the overheat would still kill it, um, because again, this is mix ape, um, he sure and die, which means scissor wins, so uh, yeah, Kiss is in here to do nothing but air slash, and I let it die, and pretty much scissor is ready to go, so I just set up an SD, barring that he doesn't get the he doesn't get it off, but he goes in the scissor, he goes in the Glasgow instead, and now this is where Iron Plate does its job. It's going to clean up and win the game. So that does so much damage to that glass score. <laughs> this 50, 56%. So it's, an, it's a roll, but he switched out for no reason. He went loom there and he let it die. So now pretty much scissor wins and that's pretty much GG. So uh, yeah, again, just showing the power of what scissor can do once the steel type's gone. Um, I know I have a lot more games with this uh, with this thing though. Because I know I also had um, one where I was using uh, Sa Savoris' team. With the defensive scissor, with the with the uh, defensive SD scissor, and uh, and some other stuff. But yeah, again, just showing you the power of iron plate. Iron plate's nice. Uh, once you remove the steel. Uh, but yeah, I guess I could show some examples of some other of some other teams I have with scissor on it. So this is actually a team I built. Um, I was building for one guy from the from the from the academy. Um, again, Jam Vaz Academy. I was building him a team with iron plate infernape. I don't think he ended up using it, but the idea behind the team was pretty much to. Uh, Sleep the steel, or pretty much apply pressure with mix with mix chomp. Uh, so again, hitting stuff like Lottie switching on Draco or, or Lottie switchings and uh, opposing guard chomps and whatnot. Got rocks down to apply pressure with everything. EQ to e hit, EQ to hit things hard and whatnot. Fire blast for Scizor and uh, and yeah, sleep powder spike. So you sleep things and you get spikes down too. Sludge bomb for opposing or sludge bomb for Clef and energy ball for uh, hitting waters. Then you have the nasty plot Rotom to take advantage of the poison stuff and also spikes and just apply pressure with Volt Switch plus Wisp or Volt Switch plus uh, Hydro. Wisp being the physical attackers too. So again, Wisp being Scissor is really nice too. Um, not like it really, I mean, it still matters because I mean, nasty plot Hydro will still do a lot and nasty plot Volt Switch will still do a lot too. So again, Burning Scissor is nice or just physical attackers in general. Scarf Latios, which can just clean up in late games too, especially with, had with Hadrids down. And then SC Scissor to set up on the physical attackers. So, um, and then you have you know ape which is there for like wall breaking stuff but not really it's more i think it was more of a uh, more of a late game kind of thing with mock punch stuff um mock punch mock punch fun stuff but uh but yeah um again just showing you like an example of a defensive scissor set this could also take on physical attackers too so you set up on the physical attackers and it's just and then just apply pressure pressure on them or pressure on their switch ins so uh so yeah um now i know i have another team i was using so let me actually go to my other account because i don't know why but um, pretty much you can only check your replays if you go to your main account or if you go to your accounts. So like I was using my chainsaw main account because that's the account I was actually testing on, but I had multiple accounts where I was testing. So let me see if I can find another one and show you more examples of scissor doing stuff. Let me see. It might be some dumb games that we had that we've had though. Um, this is, this is deep. This is a, uh, 2v2. Uh, actually we haven't played together in a long time. That's, that might not be it. Let me see anyway, though. Um, 
Oh no, this, this is some other stuff. Nope, that wasn't it. That was not the one. Uh, not even with the private one, that wasn't it. Actually, maybe it was, maybe. Let me see. Oh, I was, uh, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, uh, this was a team that we were trying out a while back with, um, with Choice Band NT plus Copycat Luke. Uh, let me see if I have another one, though. Nope, not that one. Actually, this was funny. I was using, like, Ice Beam D uh, DD Tar. Um, shoot, I didn't mean to get rid of that. No. Uh, let me go to private again, and let me see if I can find those games. Because we had a lot of games. Uh, okay. Nah, not this one. I know I have another one with Scissor. Okay, this was another one with Scissor, but I think this one was a Life Orb one. So, I guess I could show that. No, why not? I'll show, I'll show this one off. Um... I think I might have the team actually too. Let me see if I can find that team. If I can find that team with Sidor. Sidor. The Sidor. Uh, let me see if I can find it. BDSP. Okay, my laptop is just lagging like crazy. <laughs> it's too much information for one video. <laughs> hey, let me see. Let me see if I can find that team that I'm actually about to show off. Because uh, I have a lot of Sidor with Sidor on it. Uh, do do do. Can okay, I show that one? This is a bad team. Um, let me see the one I was using in that in that game. I'm about to show. Oh, this one right here. So this was like a a Paso Tar with the SD um Brick Break Luke or Brick Break uh what's it called Brick Break thing. So in this game, pretty much there's no. Well, I mean, there is a steal obviously, but we pretty much break the steal with the with Heatran. Now I don't remember if I don't remember if when we when I was playing this game, if I was playing it by myself while I was while I was just testing on it with this uh, with the account, or if me, Eric, and Galate were playing on this one. But uh, uh, excuse me, I, let's just find out anyway. He leads Dragonite, so that tells me that he's mixed. So we're gonna lead uh Loom. So I let Loom here. So it's like I was Scarf Loom too. So I'm gonna get Tar now and break it sturd and break it some uh, multi skill. So we break the multi skill now. And I can just stone edge it and do a lot of damage to it, not kill it, obviously. Um, so pretty much the uh, Primus is dead, and I get to crunch it. So this was a very, very slow Dragonite. Um, we can go. It goes Mammo there as I go into Skarmory to get my to get my hazards down. And he's gonna go for a sub, and sub is scary. <laughs> sub is so scary, and it gets a crash, and no flinch, obviously, which is good. But uh, yeah, I go for a cut tap, break out, and I get to break bread and kill it off. And to break up and break the uh, sub, obviously. So I break this up there. Now what I can do is go into uh, Scizor, Skizor, and I can go for BP or I can go for uh, Brick Brick or whatnot. I think I bricked my BP. That is a lot. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot to Rachi. And that's Scarf Rachi too, judging by the way he did that. Or maybe like some other thing. But yeah, Manaphy comes in here. This is before Manaphy got banned, by the way. So we go rocks down. And this thing is dangerous because of a little move called Tail Glow. So, so um, goes Doom Desire. That was actually a really cool play. Getting the Doom Desire off into my chomp. I go for Outrage. It does nothing because it's defensive as hell. And I die. So, uh, Garchomp dies. And we go Loom. Loom is Scarf. And we kill it, I think. Uh, yeah, we do kill it. So, the biggest threat to his team had died. And uh, now Gengar's in here. Which Gengar, we can apply pressure with, uh, again, with Scissor still. So, Tar is in here, too. Tar can also just DD up, too. But here's the thing. Well, there's that. There, there's also that Focus Blast. But, uh, yeah. We died there. Back at Scizor, we can BP. Or, again, U-Turn. Actually, this, this is Brick Break, so I don't have U-Turn on it. So, we just BP again. That does a lot. <laughs> that has a lot of damage. Can't do much back to me. I can just keep doing it. Psychic doing a lot, though. So, this must have been Specs or something. But, yeah. BP there. Or, BP can kill this now. So, that dies. And uh, now he has to apply it to. Uh, now he pretty much has to go for Mach Punch here with his uh, with his Loom, and Loom is going to be faster than me, unfortunately. So this is adamant. So oh, never mind. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I lied. I keep lying to you people. I'm sorry. I do apologize for me lying. <laughs> I am now the truthful. I am now the truthful person. Okay, that dies, and uh, pretty much uh, Mammo's going to die to uh, to uh, yeah to that to Eye Share, and then we just kill it off with the uh, Loom with Mach Punch. And that's pretty much, and that's pretty much gonna be the game, or even Heatran too, since we're faster. Or I thought I was, but we're Sash. So, <laughs> so we just flamethrower and that's dead. Uh, but yeah, just an example of what Scissor does. Again, just apply pressure with BP into SD, and it just kind of—I mean, just apply pressure with the SD into BP, and it just kind of cleans up. But yeah, in a game like this, especially with Rachi, man. Like again, if Rachi had Fire Punch, um, right now, uh, it would actually be able to handle Scissor, but. Nope, can't do it. So BP is very free on something like that, where it just, we kind of just break it in half. 
Um, that's why Rachi's not really that good. Like, I mean, it's good offensively, don't get me wrong. But <sighs> defensively, though, well, actually, no, that's, that's kind of weird to say defensively. It's good defensively because you can do like wish, you can do like wish support stuff with it. Um, but offensively, I think it, I think it really missed its coverage options. So, uh, so yeah, uh, let me see if I have another game with Scissor. Uh, well, there's another one. <laughs> There's another one with Scissor. Uh, another like another game where it's uh, hyper offense versus hyper offense. Well, this is more like offense really versus hyper offense. Um, I guess I can show this one off too. So I'll just show this one off as well. I know I have one where I was using a defense. Where I was using the uh, defensive one. Um, I'm pretty sure I have one where I, where I was using the defensive one. But I'm trying to figure out if I can find it. Uh, I probably don't have it. Um. I don't think I have one with the defensive one. Again, I've rarely used the defensive one. I think, like I said before, I think it's bad. I, I genuinely think it's bad. Because, um, again, you just lose. You just kind of let the momentum kind of get taken away from you. Um, yeah, let me see if I have another one with it. No, I'm just, I'm just using the same team. <laughs> just spamming the same team over and over again. Um, and that same team again. Oh, this team was terrible. <laughs> this team was actually terrible. Um, let me go to another account. Let me go to my main. Actually, my main account, I don't think I had. No, actually, no. No, I didn't. I didn't actually. I don't think I saved any of the games I was using with Savoris' team. I might be wrong, though. Um, but let me check. I'll go back to my main account again and try it again. Let's see if I actually have it. Um, showing the, um, showing scissor, showing the, the uh, defensive scissor off. Or at least the bulky SD one um, that's physically defensive because I'm pretty sure I used it um, in one of my vids or when I was testing when I was using that vid in my uh, or using that team in my vid. Um, this team was fun though, by the way. I love this team. This team was probably one of my favorite teams to use um, for this meta. Um, okay, here we go. This is actually the Savoris one. So uh, the defensive scissor, pretty much walling stuff right here i think this is actually a, weird, a really weird game i remember how weird this game was so let me go let me skip that one <laughs> okay actually no i guess i didn't did i really not have another one no way i guess not really okay well i guess i have to show this one <laughs> this was a weird game but pretty much defensive scissor was there to take on mammo and whatnot um and also take on tar too yeah, let's see i really don't remember how i remember this game being very weird because again just look at the team um you went gastrodon on me which made sense i go for the burn on it um i think this was this was not defensive or this is not scarf so pretty much we can uh switch out and go into whatever go into whatnot he goes for goes heat in there and uh, i don't know why but okay i mean it made sense he was breaking something i go for nasty Black here and he goes for earth power on my switch and i pretty much just uh Pretty much just uh, switch out because he's gonna go into uh, Gastro, so I switch out he's, as he goes Gastro, and I get my spike down here because he's gonna switch here anyway. Um, because I mean it's just obvious. And in my head, I think these plays are obvious, and that's why I made my play. So I get my spike here. Um, I go right back into Rotom, and he goes for Earth Power again, and I can Hydro again. And I buy a Volt Switch instead because <laughs> I am not good. Um, he goes for Taunt. Okay, so Taunt's revealed there. And again, this is Scarf, so I could still Psychic if I want to, but he's going to just scout for that. Um, I go for Draco there, so that didn't really work out too well. But yeah, this did, seeing as how much Volt Switch did, this mod, is, this mod did not take hits very well. He goes Magma Storm on my Switch in, and now my Chomp is trapped. So this uh, mixed Chomp is going to be a little bit messed up. I can go for Rocks here too. So I do get my Rocks down. I apply pressure. I can apply, pre I can apply pressure with Rocks now. I can EQ here and kill that. So he throws out Heatran, and now Mammo's in here. Mammo's scary as hell. Uh, or Azu can come in instead, which I thought, which I didn't understand. He has Mammo there, but whatever. He goes for water, goes for jet, does nothing. This is actually mixed defense, or actually, no, this was physically defensive Rose rate. Which, by the way, I'm um, going to Rose. Rose is like, Rose is like not the best mon. I could lie. But since we're physically defensive, we could actually take a hit from both with both Scissor and with uh, Rose rate. So Gasher's in here, and this is bad for him because I mean I could SD right now and I could just break this thing in half. So I'm just gonna U-turn <laughs> and just just break this Gasher down or Quick Attack too. Um, but yeah, this was Life Orb. Skull does damage, uh, definitely did damage and a burn to follow up. So so yeah, that didn't work out too well for me. Didn't work out too well for the Scissor. I go for U-turn, I still kill anyway. But uh, yeah, that definitely sucked for me. Um, go Lottie here. I'm gonna get a psychic here since Mammo won't kill, but he has Tar still, so Tar is still there. And uh, but that burn is not looking too good, so I gotta go Rotom here, and he could just you know do crunch stuff, and he does go for the crunch stuff. I go for Hydro here, 
pretty sure I went for Hydro. I burned it. Yeah, I do go for Hydro and I don't kill. So that's great. Crunch will kill me though because of Sand. So so there goes Rotom. Um, Gar Chomp is in here. I can EQ here. Kill that off finally. So that dies. And now pretty much it comes down to the... Uh, comes down to these two, to these three. Wow, I just made a voice crack. It comes down to these three. He goes for SD for some reason. And I just go for Outrage and just kill it. So... <laughs> Again, this was a very weird game. Like, there's like there was too much going on here. Sludge Bomb kills that, um, and then he just forfeits. But yeah, it's just this was a very weird game. Um, but yeah, pretty much this were applied pressure with this with this set, um, with the SD set. I thought I had the defensive one. I guess maybe that one wasn't the defensive one, or maybe I just changed it. I probably changed it actually. Oh no, I actually did change it. I remember I did change it because I didn't really like the way how um, I didn't really like what he had initially. Um, I wasn't really a fan of the, um, I wasn't really a fan. Oh, actually, no, this is a different team. I was looking at, oh, I was looking at the other team. My bad. <laughs> my bad, people, my bad. Um, but now, originally, uh, he had, uh, originally, Savoris had Flash, had, not Flash, right, had Flame Body on the heat turn, which I think is, now I, now I see why it's better. It, it is better, because, again, um, Flash, Flame Body, heat turn's there for catching U-turn on Scizor. That's really all it's there for. And, like, other, like, U-turn mons, but mainly Scizor. Um, but yeah, pretty much you apply pressure with the SD set again, with U-turn plus quick attack. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I thought I was thinking. I don't, I don't know why I was thinking of this one. I guess I was, I guess I was like thinking about this team right here, which I actually didn't get to use. <laughs> I actually never used this team yet. Or I didn't get the chance to use this team. But um, but yeah, um, yeah, pretty much showing you what Scissor does, man. Mon's very, the Mon is very um, is very capable in sweeping in end games. Uh, again, once you get rid of the steel, it's pretty much set up to do it. So, uh, so yeah, because I mean, like, if you look, if you look at a game like this, Scissor pretty much sets up on sets up on everything, really. Like, nothing really threatens it, except for Heatran. That's how dangerous this thing is. Um, again, this is this is like a poor example, but I'm just saying, like in general, um, this mod is very is very deadly in some in some matchups. Uh, let me see if I can find that team again with it. Oh, nope. I can't go back to my main. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I don't have the team saved on my main. Or I don't have, like, a lot of games on my main. Um, but, yeah. Again, that's just, again, showing the example of what Citra does in BDSB OU. So, again, it's a tank. It's a sweeper. And it's a wall breaker. It's all three things in one. And that's what makes it one of the best defense... And that's what makes it one of the best mods in, in BDSB right now. It's such... A good mon it is a very very good mon anyways i hope you all enjoyed my talking i talked for a long time <laughs> i'm tired <laughs> i have no idea how long this video has been going on this is probably longer than the reiku video but i hope you all enjoyed my talk my ted talk if y'all did please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe follow me on twitter join my discord the bushido gang and subscribe for some more content on the channel. I'll leave my teams in that I was using scissor on. Like I was using scissor with. So you guys can check it out for yourselves. But um but yeah, again, as I've clearly shown, I don't use the bulky, I don't use like the the do nothing set. I, I really think it's bad. <laughs> like I can show you what defoggers I typically use on my teams. Um the ones I'm more comfortable using. Like for example, uh usually usually it's gonna be glass score. You should be glass score for me. Glass score or um glass score or before Gengar got banned, uh, I would use Donphan a lot too. Um But yeah, for defoggers though, it pretty much was uh oh actually I didn't have a defogger here. <laughs> it's never by I didn't have a defogger here. I guess me I guess mainly for my teams I don't really like need a defogger a lot of the time. Like I kinda just I kinda just apply pressure really. With my teams, I don't really think about defoggers too much because I mean, defoggers kind of make you lose momentum too. If you think about it, um, if you really consider it, you kind of lose you kind of lose momentum by defogging it um, anyway. Like, I'd rather hit what's in front of me than remove hazards. That's just how I look at it. That, that's really just how I look at it. Really, like, I get it. I get why it's important. I get why it's important to remove hazards. But like at the same time, like, how? How guaranteed are you to defog, really? Um, but yeah, I just never, I just never really consider it, really. Um, especially on a team like this. This is, a, this is an old team I built, like right when the meta was starting. I actually may end up using this team in a video, but um, but yeah, I just never really considered 
hazards really i just don't think about it or hazard removal really because like a lot of teams already naturally resist hazards anyway so like or at least or at least the way how i build like my teams just naturally resist hazards or just naturally aren't like that hazard weak so i don't really can i don't really think about it too much um but still there are some teams i do have it like okay i have it on this one so I, I i guess you guys can give me some shit on this one i do have a defogger i do have one but again classic is like one of the ones i mainly use it's just a way better defogger um honestly way better defogger than scissor in my opinion um i mean they, they still both don't do anything <laughs> just that it's just that um it's just that glasgow has better defensive utility than scissor does so uh so yeah Anyways, I'm done talking. I am. I pretty much relayed my thoughts to you about what Scissor does and whatnot. So, hope you guys enjoyed my talk. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to see more team building guides and more talks and whatnot, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Be safe. Watch your engine. Peace out.